Hey Crosscutter, this is Steve, and uh, I've been thinking about your video, but I've been horribly sick. Bad cold, so somewhat recovered, so I thought I'd do something quick for you. And I'm really not sure what you want, so that's part of the problem, but I'll just draw a little box here just to get started. And I'm going to open this room and take the baseboard off. And you can make, you can do these, uh, uh, oh, I can't think right now. <laughs> uh, you can, um, let's see here. What do I want to do? Yeah, wall elevation. There's a wall in the room. And you can do this tile with polyline solids or even a material region. So part of the problem is painting the tile to get what you want, but Let's just say if you're going to use a wall material region, you just click and drag and just make it eight by eight and then open this. And I've got this default, so I'm just going to delete it here. Um, I, I'm only going to have one layer and I'm going to make it a half inch thick. Not cut the finished layer. So we got a tile just sitting on the wall here so if we go back here and I just take a shot and there's your tile and we need to paint it to look like some kind of tile so if you go to over here to your dowel tile and I've already done this so it selected it but there's just a basic tile of course it's going to possibly need some adjustment so if you open it here I would just say stretch to fit there you go and there's your tile now you can paint it whatever you want you can make it a marble or whatever but I just picked that one to do it quick and go back to the wall elevation of course the vector view isn't quite correct but let's not worry about that right now so if uh, you just select multiple copy here and you go eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, you right click and go up and there's your tile. Of course, the, that view doesn't look good, but this view doesn't look too bad. And then you might say, well, well that's kind of weird. Just maybe take this and paint it. Uh, And one got screwed up. I'm not sure why. But anyway, there's your tile. Now you need some grout. So I would do the same thing. I take a wall material region. Just click and drag it here for now. Open it. Delete all the layers. Make it three eighths. Oops, three eighths. Make it white. As you can tell, I'm still suffering with the ravages of the common cold. Don't cut the parent layer. And, you know, drag this in. Just leave it out for now so we can see. And you look at it here, and there's what you get. And that's using a wall material region, and to me that's one of the easiest ways of doing it. And, uh, you know, you can make these tiles any shape you want. So if you go over here, um, let's slide this down a little. Computer is slow for some reason. Uh, come on, computer. Quit. Oh, this is just great. Love these computers. Just love them. <laughs> Oh, I'm telling you what, folks. I don't know why I have a computer sometimes, some days. So let's just say you wanted to use a wall material region here, and you made this tile, oh, 36 by 8. And you open it up, and again, just get rid of these layers for now. Make it a half inch. Don't cut the pin, the parent layer. And uh, 
open your library and then go to Dal tile here. They got a huge array of tiles. And um, just pick something like this. Uh, that's six by. Let's see if I can find something. See, those won't tile right on your finish. You almost have to find a just a single tile. And that's part of the problem with doing this. You could go out on the internet and find a image and make it a material. So let's just say we want to take... I don't think any of these will work. Well, let's just take this for now and paint this and see what happens. See, it's going to be... So again, if you take this and you open it with the material and you say stretch to fit, you'll get that. And that's maybe what you're looking for. Of course, you don't want that grout joint showing up on the edge, but that's, that's how they've set this image. So you're going to get that. If you move it down and then you use multiple copy again. Let's see, I forget how big that is. Oh well, we'll figure it out here. Um, just say 36 and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Let's see if that's right. I can't remember anymore, yeah. There you go. And then do the same, put a wall material region in there for your grout. And, uh, you know, you can make this work. You can also stagger these. So if you want, you can move these to the right, say 18 and an eighth. And actually we could have moved all these. And you could have a brick pattern. So I hope that helps give you some idea of what you can and can't do. And if uh, that helps, let me know. If you need some other answer, let me know. You can do this exact same thing on the floor using a floor material region. So good luck and uh, let me know if you have any other questions.